The roads leading to freedom were many and varied. Swami Vivekanand's message, Awake and Arise, laid the foundations of militant nationalism. Liberal leaders like Dada Bhai Nauruji, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Surindranath Banerjee and Srinivasa Sastri advocated the use of constitutional means. Revolutionaries in and outside India organized secret societies. The freedom movement was stimulated, reinforced by the renaissance of Indian literature. The Amritsar Congress under the presidentship of Motilal Nehru adopted Gandhi's gospel of spin and weave and the Charkha found a place in the Swaraj flag, symbolizing peace, purity, and the unity of all faiths in India. Swadeshi was the watchword in all fields of life. The campaign to boycott foreign cloth was inaugurated by kindling bonfires all over the country. Vast multitudes took a solemn pledge to win freedom. On March 12th, Gandhi set out on his historic march to Dandi to break the nefarious salt law. A powerful wave of patriotism gripped the country. To end British rule in India, the AICC passed the Quit India Resolution on August 8, 1942 in Bombay. Gandhi gave the call to the soldiers of freedom, do or die. The brutal repression let loose by the government set the country ablaze. The people remained undaunted in the face of Leonine violence. Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose organized the Indian National Army and launched the freedom battle from beyond the seas with the war cry, Jai Hind. On the midnight of August 14, 1947, the dream of the freedom fighter turned into a glowing reality.